Hello, Tarot Tube. I am back with more mini deck madness. And look, I've still got this manicure. Although I don't know if I'm going to get another one like this because I really didn't enjoy playing the piano with this on my nails. It was like, yikes. Anyhow, I digress. Let's get back to this mini deck business. So in the last video, I went through the things that were in this basket. And after the video was over, I had to admit to myself, look, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. Yeah. So I was at my good friend, Trader Joe's, and there was this fabulous basket made of some kind of recycled paper, and I just couldn't resist. So I got it, and then I started to move my decks in, and I was like, wait a second. I didn't talk about all my mini decks. <laughs> there's, but wait, there's more. So, okay. So let's go back and add the ones that I forgot. And I think I'll have to move this to the side or we're gonna have focusing problems. So the first one that I wanted to talk about is this Charm Cast Tarot. Now this, these are minis. Um, I got the first version of this, which was magnet. Uh, they are uh, metal and they came with this little magnetic necklace. Do I have that here? Yeah, I do. So you could pull, um, pull a card and then you could put it in this necklace and uh, wear it, sort of carry that energy with you. But what I really use it for mostly is I use it in my daily um, tarot journal. So I use the Ritual Planner. Uh, here's my, and what's very cool about these, let me find a good example that's, you know, not, not going to be too private. Okay, this one shows up pretty nice. So I take, when I pull, I pull my card for the week with this, and then I take it and I put it underneath like this and pull the card over. And then with a pencil, I just do a rubbing. And then I have the card here, right? So this one I had uh, two of pentacles, and I just took some brief notes about it, about, you know, being in balance. So that's how I use this most of the time. So, you know, I, I do pull this out basically once a week to pull my energy of the week card. And yeah, there's that. I'll just put it to the side. Then we have this deck. Well, this is Nellie's deck, which I wrote on pencil. So Nellie's deck does not come in this box. I, I am a Trader Joe's fan. Um, it's, I, I bought uh, sort of the the stripped down version of Nellie's deck. If you're not familiar with this is, check out Kelly at The Truth and Story who created her own deck. And it's got a whole story um, about who Nellie is and this deck that she created. Um, so it's got a playing card, Lenormand influences, as well as tarot, obviously. And it's this whole system that Kelly came up with. And it's just beautiful. Um, they're definitely small cards, the, the version I got, and it's a nice linen finish, and I love these backs, this plaid back. And then I thought, well, what am I gonna put this in exactly when I got it, because this I just got the cards. Um, and I came up with the idea of putting it in this little, nice little cardboard tea box, because I thought Nellie, who lives out on a, in a, a lighthouse, she would definitely not throw things away she would repurpose them. So I could see Nellie, if she got a nice box, well-constructed box like this for her with her tea in it, that she just might use it for something like storing her cards. So I put it in here. All right, next one. And it's really crazy that I didn't talk about it in the last video because I'm so charmed with it and I've been using it um, during late November, early December, fairly frequently is this one, the Vacant House Tarot. And I just, I really love it. I love the aesthetics of this. And again, this is a nice linen. It shuffles like a dream. It's just such a pleasure to hold. It's, you know, I, I just enjoy it um, because it feels so good. And I get great readings from this because there's something about this. It's like, it feels like it's telling a story that's, I've got a, um, um, it's like looking at a stage production. Uh, we've got the, the curtains and then there's the thing that's happening on the stage. It's just beautiful. I love it. I love the palette. I love the backs. 
I love everything. I love the little tin. So I'll put this, this guy back in. I tend to use the word guy in a non-gender related way. Then I have this book, and uh, well, this book, this deck, and how I forgot to talk about this one. I have no idea what to tell you about that. Uh, but it's the Sacerbito Mini, the Tiny Traveler. And again, I use it for traveling. So let's put that to the side. And then I had this one, the Sage Rabbit Tarot. This is another one that I like to use um, with my D&D &D games. Very uh, right away Smith, really easy to read, but because it has got this rabbit and I play a heron gone, which is a hare, not a rabbit, but um, it's kind of fun and feels thematic uh, when, I'm, when I'm working on my character. So I like this one. Also pink, right? And it came. It's just pink. What can I say? So there you go. Put that one to the side. Then I have two new decks, which it's not really surprising that I forgot to put these in the video um, because I hadn't really used them yet. I had Sweet Dreams and this Manga Tarot. Now, it's worth saying I try to buy most of my decks not off of the Big A, but off um, from a company in California called Magic. And they're always running some kind of deal, so I can get prices that are pretty much comparable to the Big A. Uh, yeah, I don't get instant gratification, but I, I get them. And they've been doing this new thing where they'll get authors to autograph decks. So I have a few decks now that are autographed by the creators. I guess authors. I really got deck brain or book brain today. So I've been thinking about getting this manga tarot for a while. And now I have it in the mini, which charms me. And it charms me that it's um, autographed. So... This, this is fun for me. It's got this real fantasy element. Again, very easy to read because it's strong uh, RWS imagery. So that's pretty good. And yeah, there's this one. Semi in order. Okay, put that back. And this is a new one. And it's in the same family, right, as these that I talked about in the last video. It's a uh, rock pool. And it's just a little sweet message before you go to sleep at night, which I really um, appreciate. But my days tend to be very busy and I need, I need help sort of <laughs> calming down and staying focused because I, I do so many different things over the course of a day. Um, so I can just take, keep this by my bedside. It's brand new. I've only used it twice. So I'm very hopeful that it's going to be helpful. And I'm going to pull one now, sort of for all of us. Uh, let's see if we need to calm down this evening. Here's a thought for us. Oh, right side up would be better. Purpose. My dreams connect me to my purpose. So if you keep a dream journal, you could take a look at this. Um, and then in the morning or middle of the night whenever you wake up. See if that helped out. <coughs> and then as I was going through my pile of decks to make sure I had everything, I found this. So this is a blank deck. Um, when I was doing a Lenormand class, I made my own Lenormand to help me study. Uh, but they came in a pack of, I forget, two or three decks. So I still have this. And I'm not going to show you my Lenormand. I mean, basically all Lenormand decks are mini decks. Um, but um, yeah, this is about mini Oracle and Tarot decks. I probably should have been really clear about that in my first. So let's see. Is everything going to fit in now? So I, I'm not... These are some of these are empty boxes because I didn't put the deck fully away after showing it to you. Let's see, will they all fit in? I suppose I should back out. Nope, yeah. Let's see if they're all fit in my new Trader Joe's basket. I hope so. I do love my mini collection. And I was sort of reflecting on, well, why do I like these decks so much? And I think the bottom line is I have wanderlust. I love moving about and having adventures and seeing new things and discovering stuff 
it gives me joy. And when I have mini decks like this, so this is my, my um, steampunk because I decided I'm going to put my manga tarot now in this little leather case I made. So we'll just do that now. Put that in here. It's a tight fit, but... So the, these are the Llewellyn, these teeny little Llewellyn decks. Okay, put that in there. So now that's ready. That can go with me someplace. What was I saying? Yes, because I have Wanderlust, and I love to just get out there into the world and do stuff. Let me see. This one. Now, I don't have to, I don't have to make my Charm Cast Tarot fit into the basket because it actually lives in a drawer right by my desk, so I can grab it very easily when I'm doing my, my weekly planning. And tuck this in here. So this is the... This is the Sasserabito. Where did that box go? So this, here it is. Let's put the Sasserabito back in its box. That'll make it fit. Instead of that bag. The bag was... I think I took it someplace and I put it in the bag for some reason. Let's face it, I don't really like tuck boxes that much. But for storage and finding things, they work great. And here's Nellie's deck. Okay, I guess that just kind of sits on the top. All right, they all fit. Ta-da. Ooh, that's heavy. But that's good. I did it. Okay, so that is my... Whoops, I forgot the little silly super, super little. Is that it? That's it. I did it. It's all good. All right, so it took me two videos um, for my collection. And I had to get a new bag. I didn't have to get a new bag, but I did. And that's it. That's my mini decks, and that's why I have so many. Because I love to travel. I like to just get up and go my toiletry bag is always packed and this way i have a nice little selection of things to choose from so i can grab something that makes my heart sing when i'm heading out all right i hope you find something that makes your heart sing if you enjoyed looking at this little collection please hit the like button it helps me so much and i really really appreciate it um and if you have some minis Post it down below. Tell me what you've got and why you like them. And make a video. I'd love to see them. All right. Take care.